Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you for joining me here for the February 2022 Love and General Readings. I'm using the Lenormand nine card spread. I'm using the Psychic Tarot for the Heart as well and Amira's Love Oracle. I will be extending these readings now because there's been there has been issues with the extended readings. Um, you could, if you wish to get the extended reading, email me uh, at divinedebut11 at gmail.com and I will manually send you the extended part of the reading. I'm also going to be using the Tower of Sexual Magic as well as taking an oracle. Uh, what I've got that is different from other readings is a bunch of cards which I've written. I've written letters, I've written uh, signs, uh, zodiac signs, I've got numbers and I've got letters. Okay, so I'll be taking these in the extended. All right, so do join me on the extended if you are interested. If you're on Patreon, you know that you get all the extended for being on Patreon on tier one on the first tier. Do consider joining us on Patreon as we go into a lot of astrology. Tier 2, you also get you get all the extended readings plus the uh, moon, um, the illuminary or the lunations. So new moons, full moons, astrology will go into depth. And Tier 3, you get everything, everything that I just mentioned as well as the month ahead astrology. And you're all in the draw for a free reading as we take three winners every month so these will be shorter readings because uh, my monthly readings are not doing that well so you know i'm really starting to think to give up on those as they don't get the they don't get shared they don't get seen this is a lot of work that goes into these videos so let's see what what happens this month it is a very important month for love as we've got valentine's day venus and mars are fluttering and playing games so let's see what's going on okay i will um start off with aquarius and i want to thank you all of course being the aquarius season i want to thank you all for your uh, consideration of becoming a patron supporting divine debut 11 and thank you for liking sharing and subscribing let's go on to the readings hello hello dear libra welcome to divine debut this is your february 2022 general and love reading which i will be extending through my website you can find the links beneath the video make sure you uh after your purchase that you email me so i can manually send you out the link uh, my email is divinedebut11 at gmail.com. It is beneath the video. So let's see what's going on in the month of February, the Aquarius season. Most of February is Aquarius and going on to Pisces season. For Libra, what's happening? What's going on? Dear Archangels, Libra. What's going on for Libra? In the month that mercury will also be turning direct so all planets are direct oh wow so you've been f dealing with some sort of an end there's been conflict there's been conflict there's been arguments some of you could have been dealing with a breakup pertaining to a wish fulfillment you've been under a lot of stress anxiety maybe some of you are finishing up maybe uh, a relationship i mean the birds can speak to gossip other people in the picture can relate to stress yeah it's got something to do with your home this could also be a home-based business i suppose um maybe even something that you've been hoping for or striving towards for quite some time you are going through changes, many changes uh, with the fish here. The fish does speak to abundance, financial prosperity, anything to do with business. 
gains, your values. We have the bear, we have the lily, and we have the snake, my goodness. Looks like you may have gone through some sort of a lesson, a difficult lesson, chapter in your life. Could be uh, pertaining to your stability. You know, emotional, financial stability could be around business. I mean, the home, the home is family. It's also what gives you that uh, security within a, an environment. And I see that It hasn't been easy for you at all. I mean, the focal point is the coffin here. The coffin can speak to that Plutonian energy. Uh, Pluto can speak to money coming through from others as well. I do feel as though you have got a support system as well, which could come from your extended family, from a mother figure, pertaining to some sort of a transformation. You have gone through challenges here no doubt but there is there are positive energies here as well there is it's as though you're going through a portal where you've been i don't know judged or you've been asked to stand strong to prove yourself to take charge coming from a place of integrity We'll take more cards we've got the rider here at number one it is quick speedy messages pertaining to a new possible beginning let's see what your karma dharma is in the month of february for libra some of you could be dealing with a scorpio This could also speak to uh, maybe even some sort of a matter pertaining to either someone who, who's in a position of power, something that you desire, uh, you're asked to be strong. Some of you could have been going through challenges uh, with a boss or with uh, a mother. Wow, you've got the faith card which is Taurus, and we know that the uh, North Node is facing Taurus, which is all about uh, fated, fated events playing out, getting uncomfortable, quick changes, where you've been stuck. Uranus is moving through Taurus. It's bringing sudden ups and downs, uh, revelations, tower moments. Let's see what's going on in Love with the Mirror's Love Oracle. Communication. With a mature woman, which would more than likely be this bear. And we've got the Ice Queen. Lots of feminine energies here. The Ice Queen is very similar to the Queen of Swords, which is more than likely you, dear Libra. And you've turned your back on this uh, mature woman, on this mature feminine figure this could also be an argument just out of the blue that's brought some sort of an ending a change i feel as though uh, spirit is saying that you're needing to take a position of leadership right now i mean the ice queen could also be someone that's going through divorce and I suppose this could be you, but it could be another person around you. This could also be, for some of you, a same-sex relationship. The mature woman, dark. Um, dark, more than likely light-colored eyes. Let's take one more. And we've got true love here. And I'm not reading reversals, my dear friends. So 
Some of you are taking the power within your hands and you're moving forward, pertaining to a true love connection, maybe even a secretive uh, connection. Some of you, yes, could have been going through divorce, communicating maybe secretly. Some of you may have felt as though there's, you, you know, you've been detached or on the way to sort of coming out of a difficult situation, ending a cycle in your life, um, maybe a long-term commitment. Some of you could be mothers yourselves. I mean, the, the Ice Queen could also be someone who's making a judgment. And it is around, it is focusing around love. I do see here that with the whip here, which is a number 11, and that is, 11 is the number of justice, which is your energy. Um, it is the energy of Lilith, and Lilith is our shadow side. Uh, it's some sort of opposing energies here, some sort of difficult decisions, maybe something's been figured out, something's been seen, uh, maybe even pertaining to hidden messages. Let's see what's going on in the Tower of Sexual Magic. We've got the Nine of Cups, we've got the Empress, again a motherly figure, and we've got the Eight of Swords, feeling blocked or having the perception of being blocked. You know, in the Tower of Sexual Magic, I see a very strong sexual connection. Could be a secretive one. We've got the devil in the background here. just want to show you. Can you see the devil in the background here? This is something forbidden. It could be something that's very, uh, you know, a very secretive sexual connection. With the Empress here, someone who is a mother, someone who is very much about love, She's very attractive. She attracts, right? Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment. Someone who's doing something that they enjoy, which could be something forbidden as well. Maybe this is also someone's secrets pertaining to their sexuality or pertaining to a sexual connection coming up, getting out, leaking information because we've got the uh, the lily here, which also speaks to sex, virtues, morality. You know, the fish can also speak to confusion or deception for some of you. I mean, this could speak to gossip, some sort of information leaking. Let's see what the tarot... Uh, the psychic tarot for the heart has for Libra in February. Nine of Swords, darkest fears, something that you've been fearing pertaining to. Four of Swords, lots, lots of swords, a lot of thoughts, perceptions, words, challenging energies here. The Four of Swords is in action, but it's also someone who's um, in meditation mode or someone that's needing to heal. I don't know why I'm getting this, but I mean, the Four of Swords shows someone that's sleeping. So something's going on um, that's very stressful. A lot of anxiety here during the night. Something secretive is playing out. Um, I get deceptive energies. And we've got challenging times. Five of Wands. Arguments within a family. This could be something that is seen, as I said, maybe even communication during the, the uh, night hours where someone is sleeping, something gets known, something gets seen here, something is perceived. And Five of Wands, not an easy card, obviously it speaks to conflict arguments, uh, could be a family that's fighting, 
could be a couple we've got the four of pentacles here which says open up so yes yeah, something is opening up something that was hidden obviously something that was uh, not you were not open uh with this could have been something that you felt deep within your heart this is something pertaining to the home maybe even uh needing uh being forced being pushed to open up about what's what's within your heart what you've been holding uh in your heart secret secretly and you know the darkest fears with the devil here and this connection this um eight of swords feeling blocked your perception or maybe even someone someone not wanting to believe something here someone's perception being challenged and i feel that there's a strong perception here about something going on that's that's very very toxic or something that someone is scared to look at is going to be shown and that's what the snakes are which the snake speaks to sexuality a craving energy seduction desires deception it's new moon in cancer did i say new it's the moon in cancer which does speak to a uh, family situation but it also speaks to wisdom which brings clarity let's see what else we've got what is the advice what is the advice dear spirit with the energy oracle cards the advice for libra in february we've got three cards that have come through in the reverse contract in the upright is the magician and in the reverse is angel of strength so we had the magician that was in the upright only and the other two cards were reversed angel of strength someone needing to be strong we've got the scales here and it was in the reverse so an imbalance maybe even a potential divorce separation the magician and the mirror the magician is like it can be trickster energy but it also gives the power for someone to have an understanding here let's see what the uh, energy oracle wants you to know number 50 50 is a five which is also the faith card let's read 50 the reversed message this card reversed indicates that you are not perceiving the truth of your own power perhaps you're even seeing yourself as weak or in infectual sorry ineffectual ineffective the situation you find yourself in may seem overwhelming but you absolutely do have the strength to see it through a successful outcome see it through to a successful outcome don't fall into any old patterns of giving your power away when you let others define you or make decisions on your behalf you take yourself out of the picture of your own destiny creation meditate on the brilliant vibrating light of this angel and recall the eternal power that surges through your life it's time to take back control and maybe you have been in a controlling relationship maybe you are seeing that someone's been deceptive with you let's see this contract number six six is the lovers five is taurus of course it's the Hierophant. Let's read number five in the reverse. This card reversed is a wonderful indication that, that an old negative pattern, relationship or desperate attitude is being released. As you continue to let go, you will be able to establish new ways of doing things and relating to others. The universe wants 
to congratulate you on your healthy new approach, but be sure to support the changes you're making in your ongoing choices. Some patterns can be deeply encoded and you may need to continue releasing the old habits all the while honoring the new decisions in your thoughts, actions and interactions with others. You've broken the chains and now you can walk away with limiting attachments into a bright and unlimited future. That's lovely to hear. Number 53, the magician in the upright. This is knowing and you using your true power. This card upright represents the culmination of your personal and spiritual power at this time. In the magician's left hand is the flame of passion and action. In his right hand is a vortex of water and the light of reflection. This highly beneficial card is telling you that you are the magician and within your grasp are the amazing forces of earth and spirit. The water is the energy of yin and the power of spirit and clarity of thought. The flame is the energy of yang, bringing direction and creativity. Together they give you the magnific magnific magnificent magic of transformation. The mirror stands beside the magician reflecting the outer world's response to your choice to use or dismiss the true power that you have. Its silver reflection reveals the future in a mist on the horizon, ready to be magically formed. When you receive the magician upright, you are put on notice that an important and powerful time is at hand. You are the alchemist of your life. And just as an alchemist turns base metals into gold, you now, you are now able to transform your difficulties into great blessings. This is true in every area of your life. Claim your power and embrace your intentions in your heart and in your daily life. Direct your destiny and the mist of the future will clear into brilliant reality. Wow, quite a few messages from the energy oracle for you, dear Libra. Obviously, you've been going through a learning curve. Your strength is being called on. You do have the support of the angel of strength or you've got someone that could be very supportive of you as i said earlier with the uh, bear and the empress here okay the empress is taurus uh, and libra so this is your energy you've got the power you are the empress Number four, four of pentacles does remind me of the Taurian energy as well. So you're looking at your values. Um, wherever there's been, uh, a, you know, a lack of happiness, you've got a couple of fours, which does speak to your emotional stability, happiness um, pertaining to your home, your life at home. Um, in your living arrangements, you know, of course, the messages will be different for each of you. We've got a, an 8, a 5, and a 6. 13, 19. 19 is the sun. It is Leo. It's the ability to take charge. Leo, um, and it's interesting, you've got the stars here as well, which is the, that Aquarius energy, which we've just had a new moon in Aquarius on the 1st of February. We're going to have a full moon in Leo. And this is all about fixed, fixed energy. So where, you know, things haven't been changing. I mean, the, you know, Uranus in Taurus is uh, bringing in the changes pertaining to anything that's been unchanging, where there's been difficulty pertaining to change. Um, that's what you are being um, advised that things are changing in your life, okay, um, especially with a snake here. Before I go on to the extended, um, I want to take one, one more card here. We've got a new cycle, an ace. This is Mercury in Gemini. This is truths coming through. This is news, passionate messages coming through. 
This is activity, someone taking action to move forward. As you're going through a difficult uh, change, difficult changes, I mean, seven is not an easy, it's like a Saturnian quarter cycle, which is asking you to, to be mature, just like that mature woman here. And we've got a divine masculine, a divine masculine, which could be Scorpio, I suppose it could be an Aquarius. The lily does speak to uh, eth an ethical, pure connection where there's no purity. This is uh, something that's leaving you. It can also speak to a spiritual connection. The snake can also speak to a third person. So I don't know if this is your situation. Okay, because obviously the empress could also be someone who is a mother. She's married. She's got children. So... Let's go on to the extended and see what else what else will come through for you. All right. Um, again, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing and being here. Thank you to those who are joining me on the extended. I'm wishing you well. Dear Libra, love and light. Talk to you soon. Ta-da.